when we got here, I told my husband, so and so thing is going on. My husband said, ha, how will a man leave the child? I said, leave the wife like that. I said, don't worry. God will have his way. So many of our brothers now, they don't really know much about all this marital something. So, but till around seven, I was expecting somebody to come around to talk to us about her. I can't call her. So it was around seven. Somebody came and picked the children. Okay. When it was the second day, we got to school. I said, okay, how, how is it, ma? I greeted the woman. She greeted me, said, ah, mommy, can you come this and that? So I just engaged her in the door. And I said, she, I asked her, what is the situation? She told me, I said, go to the doctor. Go and ask the doctor what is going on. How will she be there? And they are only trying to calm her down. It was during the conversation she told me. She has been, you know, she has done two CS before. I said, then what are they waiting for? You pick and a day. And during my time, I don't wait for it. We pick a day and we start praying. Not now, now that is, I, I say, if you are not careful, the BP will be going up and up and it will refuse to come down. So the third day, the woman came. I said, Mama, do you know that just as you said, it was going high. I have to go and tell the doctor, please help my sister. Don't let her die. You know, and I, I said, in Jesus' name, the Lord will have it. So, so when she was coming in the afternoon, to, you know, to see me, she came and said, your God, your God, your God has done it. Your God, they have not carried the baby down home. How to? But she said, your God has done it. I said, what? He said, the man said, the option is to prepare her for tomorrow morning. And as I'm talking to you, she's free. She's okay. She's back. We pray. You make wisdom. If you pray, the wisdom to do what is right will come on you. Don't let it be an emergency body. No. Let's look at the word this morning. We are going to read the book of Luke chapter 18 from verse 1 to 8. Luke 18 from 1 to 8. We are going to read it together. I will read the first verse. You read the second one and like that till we complete the eight verses. Can we go? I'll be the first to read the first one. One, two, three and I will read. Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. And verse 2, go. Verse 3, and there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with a plea, grant me justice against my adversary. And verse 4, Okay, yes, because this widow kept bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually wear me out with her coming. And verse 7. And verse 7. And we not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night. Will he keep putting them off? And verse 8. Father, we ask that you grant unto us wisdom this morning in the name of Jesus, that at the end of this teaching, we will have Lord strength to go back, you know, and to be energized, to pray, to have time to have, I mean, to pray more in the name of Jesus. The fire of prayer may be ignited in us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Okay? Now, from where we read, he said, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of my coming shall he find faith on the earth. This parable our Lord Jesus, you know, share with his people is so deep to the point that major lesson that will, be, that will help our prayer life will be revealed to us this morning. And we'll pick lesson out of each of it as we go on. I will show us about five or six points that we need to pick from where we just read for understanding of what prayer is all about. I told us prayer is you communicating with God. A practice of communicating with one's God. You are communicating with your maker. The Abbalists communicate with their gods. And we that we serve a living God, we communicate with our God. The invisible, the almighty father. We communicate, you know, with him. A meeting, and I said another, declaration, another definition says, a meeting held for the express purpose. You to express yourself. The word of God, we have read, said, the woman kept coming. 
it kept coming. She kept coming. She said, ah, ah, justify me now. Justify me now. Why don't you say something? Lord, help me now. Until one day the man said, well, if I don't, if I don't even fear God, if I don't honor God, at least for this woman coming every time, I, I think I need to answer her. I need to give unto her what she's asking for. And that was how God answered. And that's that the reason why I said, it should not be an emergency button. That when you need it, you just press the button. Ah! He needs sin. I told the woman, I said, is it now that we want to start praying that God should bring the baby out? Ah! We did not pray it since when she was pregnant the first month. Is it now that the baby is already coming? I should not start praying. I said, ah, no. Tell her to allow them. Let them bring the baby out and the prayer will be answered. It's true. Assuming from the day one who started praying, Lord, on one point, you keep praying. Lord, I told you, for one year, I kept praying on one thing. Wisdom to have. Wisdom to have. Wisdom every day. And I kept praying a prayer eh, for more than, I used to tell my children, and it was fulfilled yesterday. Like play, like play. I told them yesterday. I said, Lord, I want to see from God a daydream of one on one like this. And it happened to me yesterday. Kimi o sheshe. Pelu agbara adura. Koni sheshe ni kwa owo. But prayer is so powerful. It's a beautiful woman of God. How are you? I say, I'm fine. And you don't know. You, too, you want to go and see such a person, you're not too sure. Uh oh. Let's look at the first point. Let's look at the first point. The purpose why Jesus our Lord shared this parable is revealed in the first verse. Which says, to this end, that men ought always to pray. He kept saying it. Men all, always, I mean, men ought always to pray and not to faint. And here Jesus our Lord reveals that Prayer should be a lifestyle for believers. It is a lifestyle that believers should consciously and constantly develop. Consciously. Oh, mom. Growing it. Oh, bani bito ngbori lo. To long ten, to long ten posi. Oh, what's your more prayer? Pray, kill a waku. One can rain fa, kill a man with kafa, e why, oh dile. But consciously, oh, I'm more moshi, and my king, I'm more more grown. I can't do without prayers. I told us last week, some of us say, I'm so busy, busy, by the time I will get back, I'm weak, I'm tired, and you just go and sleep till the day break again. Nothing. In the throughout the day, you are busy too. Ah, Igba Toba Ma Toba ni busy. Along ni Jacob Shelley Sewa. If you don't have any other thing you are having except God, you have to pray. You call, kept call, you know, keep calling, keep calling up on him because he's the only one who can help. The Bible says the, the woman was coming every time. Was coming every time. Ah, justify me. Esha no me. Eba mi wo, oluwa, kile en wo, e shile kwa anu, e jo. Even if it's on one thing. Favor, Lord. I need your favor, Lord. I need your favor, Lord. I need, you know, you, ken yon maten no man kwen yokon. Igba wo ni favor gwen yon kwen 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 Read books that will help your prayer life. Surround yourself with believers that will inspire you to pray more. Do everything within your capacity to protect your prayer life because from what our Lord Jesus says in this verse, it is clear that a believer won't be able to go far in this world without a prayer life. And that's the reason why I said prayer is hard work. So you know, sometimes when you pray, I told you, there won't be saliva if you really pray. So if I'm praying, I'm always with water. 
I said it's hard work. You know, somebody will say, Kini, Kilang Vasa Manchi, Isha will not say, What can I do? Ah! Try it for one hour. Be praying consistently. Don't stop. It oh. auto logon is the energy. So, oh, one, oh, ten, one, oh, ten, one, oh, ten. That you know how to shout when you are praying. Ah, when we small, they exhort us that carry your bendiga. Ever should still meet that. That Abi, our our pastor, pastor Chinedu Osuji, we say carry your bendiga. You carry a bendiga means you must have scriptural passage that you will use. So you carry it on your on your neck. You will just do like this, you invisible. <laughs> And we start praying. He says, start shooting. You are shooting. You are this, the speaking in tongues of the shooting. You will be saying that as you are shouting. I could remember one day my brother came inside the room and said, Yeah, me see. Are you okay? And truly, your, your truth will be dry. It is now, and I understand that. Ah, thank God that we labor. And for the, for the future, again, we started laying the foundation. We won't be able to go for as believers if we don't know how to pray. The harrow that flies by day, is it the one that flies by night? The one at the middle of the night? You, you slept in the around 10, nothing happened to you, only for you to wake up around 1, 12, or around 2, and you notice that you cannot lift your hand and leg, and you say you don't need to pray? Men are always to pray and not to faint. If we are the way, but you must pray. Because me are looking at you, eh? Boom, fine. Oh, compadre, you are you come and it's a problem to some people. Talk less of you putting on fine thing. Or when it is time for you to get married and God bless you with good husband. Oh long to our bed. She after you uh, getting married. God answer your prayer by having you know being pregnant. Ah. Uh-uh. It's a problem to some people. Kilo dating people where why Oh yeah, it's a problem to some people. And you will not pray. Ah. I don't tell my children, I say, even as small as you are, now one of them will be clocking a certain age. This year I told her. I said, I want to do something for you. She has not I've not shown her what I want to show her. And what I have in plan is to hand herself over to herself. Yes. I hand I hand, I will hold one hand. And hand it over to the second hand. 18. More what? Mafi city OC. Buy To yourself. You want to buy address and buy by Monsi. That is it. So start praying for yourself. At that age, I don't think anybody called, taught me how to pray. I know my foundation. You know some of us who have problem. Foundational problem are the ones who are weak in prayers. Because uh, you are I will not pray. Pray so that you will not become a prey. It should be our normal lifestyle. You get to shop in the morning. Let the people around look at you and say, are you okay? Something happened to us during the week. One of our brother was about to cross to another country and then some issues came up and uh, the fear was on everybody. They did conference call. Ah, let's start praying. Oh, the devil want to come on. The devil want to do this and this, that, and that. I was just quiet. I was like, you are not talking. I said, ah, we don't have any other means. We don't have any other person we can call. Let's call on him now. So we discuss. And as we're about going to the backyard at the other side of the of the uh, the compound there at Telebu, I just said this sign. Man of God, I can pray. Father, you are the heaven, you are the owner of the heaven and the heart. You will own you me. You will own everything. I quoted it in Yoruba. Me, I don't know how to pray in Yoruba. I don't know how the word came more. We held our hands together and said, Father, go ahead. Cross the road for him. Let it be easy. With ease. By the time we, they will call us, let us, let them tell us that 
is already at the, the normal place because it's for his promotion. Father, have your way. And that was all. We just heard ourselves. And I said, don't get yourself. Wet. And he, I didn't even think about it again. Yesterday, he said, I want to talk to mama. Help me to, he now did a uh, voice note. Help me to send, because I, I said, God is ever faithful. They call me mama, even in my husband's uh, or Pastor MC. Pastor MC, or mom, uh, mama. That's what they call me from my in law side. And I said, God has done it. Congratulations. Come and pay your tithe. He, you know, I was just joking. But to be sincere, prayer is as simple as that. But it's very hard to walk. It's a very hard walk. So let it be your lifestyle. Let prayer be your lifestyle. It is clear that a believer won't be able to go find this world without a prayer life. Let's look at the second one. We've seen the first reason why our Lord Jesus shared that pro, uh, the, the parable. Let's see the second point. The second verse also shows us another reason why we should have a prayer life. The woman could not get what she wants without the approval of the judge in the city. The second verse also shows us another reason why we should have a prayer life. The woman could not get what she wants without the approval of the judge in the city. A judge, according to the Oxford Dictionary, is a person who decides the fate of someone or something that has been called into question. The woman could not get what she wants without the approval of the judge in the city. And who is a judge? A judge, according to the Oxford Dictionary, says he's a person who decides the fate, F-A-T-E, of someone or something that has been called into question. So, why should we pray? We pray because God is the judge of the universe. Why should we pray? We pray because God is the judge of the universe. It is only by his permission that people can obtain what they want. He is the only one who can say, let it be so. The woman kept coming because he knows, she knows that he's only the judge that can give the approval. Okay, let it be so. Let's do it this way. She knows that without the man, nothing can be done. And that was the reason why she kept coming. And why do we pray? We pray because God is the judge of the universe. It is only by his permission that people can obtain what they want. In the book of Psalm 75 from verse 6 to 7. Psalm 75, 6 to 7. The Bible says, For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. But God is the judge. He put it one down. And set up another. God is the judge. Psalm 75, 6 to 7. That's where I read. He put one down. He stands one. Because he is the judge. He is the one who can determine how far you will go. He is the one that can give approval. Also, I saw something again in the book of... Uh, in the book, I think I saw something in the book of Isaiah chapter 46 from verse one, 9 to 10. Isaiah 46, 9 to 10 says, Remember the former things of old, for I am God and there is none else. I am God and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning and from the ancient times, the things that are not yet done. See yes, my counsel shall stand. And I will do all my player. Until we understand that God is the judge of the earth, we may not take our prayer life serious. God is the judge. He has the capacity to stop whatsoever is trying to limit us. He said, who, who are you? Oh, ye mighty mountain. He said, lift up your head. Oh, ye gates. And be thou lifted, O ye everlasting door. Who are you? The thing, the thing behind the door asks, who is that? Because he, he knows the only person that can declare, that can tell him to put his hand off, is the almighty God. He said, who are you? Who asked me to stop? He said, I am the Lord. Amen. 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 
ki oba o go oba o go oba o ke ko le se kini ko le wonu le wa iyen tu wa mi o fe mo ru oba to je and that is the reason why you should be a prayerful person because you can i told you know i told you about two weeks ago one of my sister called me and asked me ah mama ah we bind the devil together we change the devil together in those days what could have happened ah why did she allow the enemy why did she allow why did she renounce god why did she renounce the born again why did she go after i said she went after wells but she never knew she has banned and changed the devil before. When we are, we are younger than this, I got this at any. As they, we are not coming on, the devil will come and ask. Let you to see renounce the, the Lord Almighty. The devil, I believe the devil will come and ask. Who are you? She maybe I believe that towards the end, towards she will be calling God. Oh Lord, have mercy. Oh Lord, come to my aid. And that's the reason why I say prayer should not be an emergency body. It should have been a lifestyle that ah ah, you go go load road to the Ruba Belly. Oh yeah, egbe ori ni soke ni lekun. Egbe ori ni soke ni lekun. They will have asked ah the same question, just like they asked the sons of Stephen. That ah ah, Jesus we know, but the apostle we know. Hey, John, Mister Man, seven of you who are thou. I believe they will answer. We are the seven sons of Skiza. Oh, no, she won. Oh, no, the Bible says he tore all his their clothes and said, Oh, no, what don't bleed the dad any. Nah, you are confronting the enemy. You don't have identity. You, you don't know. Who oh, are you? And that is the reason why, hey, we should have a prayer life. You have a prayer life. You have someone that ot eti fi se gbe ara yin ejo wa le gbe ojo jumo lo ngbo won e to ba se pe pe oluwa da si oro yi da si oro yi o oluwa da si oro mi ma se da de mi nikan ma se da de mi nikan o nkan to ba fi le mu mi ko rin yen laarin oruwa o ma da si o ni wa ara nse ta kia kia ni oluwa da si oro mi ojo kan ni my husband was here the voice say what happened i said i'm calling god ni that he to now have the same, even at times he may not remember the song. Hey, what is the song? That's your oyo, Oluwa, that's your oyi. Ma she da de mi ni kon, ma she da de mi ni kon, ma she da de mi ni kon, Oluwa, that's your oyi. And you will see God coming up. Let it be your lifestyle. He's the only one who can answer you, who can solve the situation. You can change your life. Who can make things work? The woman realized that the only person who can bring solution to our problem is the judge. We don't have any other any power. We don't have any other. If we have it in mind, I don't have anybody to pray for me. I have that in my mind. Right from the beginning, for me. So, and all our children here, don't say oh, my mommy is praying for me. I used to tell my children, don't say your father or your mother is praying. Pray for yourself. Read your Bible. Pray. Because I want if I want There are some junctions in one's life <laughs> that no one can help. Okay, I want to put to bed my first child. My mom and my dad was alive. Child of ever me push it. The only place, not similar. They helped me pack my load and put everything inside. Go to your husband. When it was that time to give back, they did not show up. In fact, my mom was not even there when they did the first one. It was my mother in law that was. In fact, my mother in law was not there. I was the one. The funniest part, do you not know what really, will I say, provoke me or make me angry or was. When I delivered and I opened my eye, I saw all the church members. They were all there. My sister, eh? I saw her. I was the one who saw her. She walked past my room like this. She was going to go and greet another person because she did not know I was the one there. Erosi poor. People were outside. Hey, we want to see how big the baby is. We want to, the baby was so big. So everybody was surprised. You understand the point? But my sister just was, because I did not call them. She won't leave by me. Ah. And that's the reason why to all our young sisters, to all our brothers, and when Kuri, uh, uh, there's some junctions in your life 
that no one can help you. If you have that understanding, you will be serious with your prayer life. And you will have one-on-one -on -one relationship with the almighty God, the only one who can help you. So, when I said, I told my mother-in-law, see my sister, that one, there is radical. Yeah, you know, when came, she came out and said, told you, what are you doing here? Don't you know your sister? He said, I want me, 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 because I, my nurse, my, I said, I didn't tell them that I'm, I've given back. I said, ha, ha. I said, I did not tell. So, you know, at times, when you know that you don't have those who can, who can pray for you, he won't be any prayer and only love more. Hey, can you, my mommy, what I'm saying? She can stay at the entrance. Ha! Ye, 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 bo, shaka, ye. But she, egg bomb, me kill Oh, oh, my God, come on, you tired, I hear it. Have that understanding. And that's the reason why you should have one-on-one -on -one relationship with the Lord. Pray. Let prayer be your lifestyle. Kani kilo bo ju le gan. Ouh ni. Ag be ni ni ja. Keru obo ni ja. Oron mo ni she. Tim fa ya ti. He's the only one. Develop your prayer life. Grow in it. Let it be part of your life. Your daily life. Every moment. Every minute. Let's look at the third lesson from that verse. Our third lesson is in verse 3. Verse 3. Don't forget Luke chapter 18. Verse 3. And there was a widow in that city. And she came unto him saying, Avenge me of my adversary. You know where we started from? Do you notice that the widow mentioned in this verse was she was the dweller. I mean, she dwells in the city where the judge was. She was living there. It is important you know that until you became a child of God. Not ordinary, not just a Christian, a born again Christian. He will not have access to God when it is time to pray. In the book of Luke chapter 11 from verse 1 to 2. Luke 11, 1 to 2. And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray as John also taught his disciples. And he said unto them, when you pray, say, Our Father which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it's in heaven. See what Jesus our Lord said. When teaching his disciples how to pray, he said the set up code is our father. It means you have become his child. Some of us have given our life to him before. But Ayegere, we went back, putting our hands in things that. God, you know that even if an, a kind of woman being should hear about it, he will be angry. You don't go and start putting your hand in it. How will you call on God? Something happened this morning. My daughter was telling us that they lost one of a, a class, a cost, no, a level in the in the in the school over, I think, day before yesterday, and it was yesterday night. She saw it on their platform, and the. She said, ha, I saw him. I saw him a day. I saw him on Friday. What could have happened to him that he's dead now? I saw him. He now she started making research. What could have happened? What happened to him? You know, these are our young brothers. When you carry that Coke, one plastic of Coke this morning, you will be sipping one Coke. You understand? One Coke, Coke, Coke. Want it dowry she rich, want it mix in common. I want my feet cook if it's on what? I eat back on it was Fanta. Oh, yeah, oh, the Mirinda, Essa, for more than Lati Aro, eh, Elomino, Adam, I'm baking here, Kiri, Iranio, I shall want to dust it. Want to mix it. You would think it's black, it's coke. Things are inside it. Don't go any more. You know that day, if you have been on TikTok, you will have been hearing the song. All those things. You know, at times I'll just be looking at them. Hmm. By the time these things started a kind of work, who will you call? Your mother will not help you. 
only for him to sleep and did not wake up. They will start the exam on Monday. Wasted effort. Wasted time. You just, he just wasted everything about that woman. What do I get when he first born? I'll be the only child. Has, has he not caused a problem to that family? They will be crying now in their house how to bury him. Imagine. You should think about it. In Koto Mokwe, or in your Elena Arabit, you're going to look at it and say, ah, ah, are, you, are you okay? Talk less God. If God is your father, you won't be sinning against him. Because without you being his son, you can't call on him. You can't say, Heavenly Father, let you don't eat that go she to mock. Ah, ah. You know, sometimes when some of our people, some people will come and say, We are expecting God for the fruit of the womb. Jesus should come and answer. I have faith. Many faith. Tell us about your past life. Tell us. Kali mobita masi beri adura. Kawama koma sako yara garaba. Yegre, 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 yegre. Womb, womb. Jesus, Jesus. Bring another child. Let the child grow in that. Womb with thirty bagge. I'm a father mercy. Mercy. We will not be commanding every power saying at the entrance that did not allow the baby to be formed. You know, the prayer is in different way. Otoni mercy. Olu, I want to bagge. Want to share with you? Yeah, come share with Eh, Joluwa. Eh, Dariji. Eh, Fanuba. Wa. Eh, Shanu. In fact, we have seen so many women being pregnant, not having womb. They carry the. Ch- yes, I saw one. The enemy Mori Koro Koro funa mini. Kosi womb. If it don't work bad, groom be. Oye wa o. But last year, we get come up with multi shashi she. We pray. Talk less of you that you are on dimbo. I want my prayer, nonsense prayer. Do you know it will have been Father, your mercy. Jehovah, over sister and brother, like that. Mercy. Do you, you, you understand? Uh-huh. Go we answer. Because Oti Je walk with Oshe. Please don't do what will make you to be knocking the door of heaven. Every minute. They will open. You or some, some people will just knock once. The door will open. But when you are not a re- in relationship, even if you knock, they will first go and peep. Who is at the door? Ah, we don't know you. Oh. Be his son. Be his daughter. Have one-on-one relationship with him. Give your life to him fully. Dedicate yourself to him and let him be in you. I, wait, I waited for three years. No, I didn't even wait for three years. Because the first one came. I never knew that I was even pregnant because of When they started throwing the loads out, I was seeing something. I did not know what is going on. I just knew that I was sick after the our wedding. I was so sick to the extent that to even stand up from the inside of the house, this is the house, to the sitting room was difficult. I was so sick. I never knew. So when they threw the load out, I started seeing it. blood. Me, I don't know what is the, what is the thing. So we did not go to the hospital. We did not do anything. So maybe because I didn't wash it, I didn't do anything. Me, I shame that. I can never think about that. So let the child still remain with God until when we get settled. So when we now got settled in our own apartment after a year and six months, that was when I now say, ah, what is going on? This thing is not. But every time I'm having my dream, eh? This God, ah, please have relationship with him. Oh. Because the way he dealt with me that time, it was now as I'm growing, I now understand. Ah, you know when you are in a dream, you want to talk. Something is holding your mouth to your stomach. Me, I don't know whether it used to happen. To shout, I cannot shout. To talk, I will not be able to talk. I will now use my hand to be bringing out something from my mouth. In that my dream, I'll be bringing it out as if it's like sharp that blocked my throat. I'll be bringing it out. What is this thing? In my dream, I'll say, Lord, please show me. Show me. I never knew that it was telling me that I need to clean my... They need to clean the womb after the first miscarriage. I never knew. Do you understand? Until one day when we finished praying, 
one of our brother was the one praying, you know, leading us in prayer, Pastor Bolude. We were having fasting and prayer. He now said, the Lord, we should pray for direction. I pray and pray. When, we, when I got to, the revelation I got, it was in my dream, they told me, go to so and so In that revelation, what about me for? I first saw somebody that put on white. Ocean for no old chino, maybe come on laba. They opened me up and let me to wash it. They now told me you will use agua. I said, they do operation. I will still drink agua. Ah, me <laughs> They gave me sha. In that revelation, it now remained one. So as I woke up, I said, agbo. That was how I took the first step. Do you know? The only agbo they gave me was to wash my stomach. Oh my for knowing. And that was the last thing. And that was how I became pregnant. From the direction. The instruction from God. When you are a, a daughter and a son of God, he will direct you. You know, at times when some things happen, I will be questioning God. God, why? You were supposed to show me. Then he goes, our relationship. This is how you used to show me. After I will now hear what happened, I say, ah, no wonder. See, if you show me, oh, my way, go call me. But to be sincere, if you have one-on-one -on -one relationship with him, you give your life to him totally. You surrender your life to him and become born again. He will show you great and mighty things. You know it not. He will reveal to you. The book of Jeremiah chapter 33 says, call unto me and I will answer and show you great and mighty thing you know it not. In control, we have relationship. If I've not given your life to him, please, I will beg you this morning. You give your life to him. Accept him as your Lord and personal savior. You don't have any other person who can help you. He's the only one. He's the one who will order you and say, don't, don't be afraid. The Bible says, he led me through where the greener pasture, where is dark, where there is quietness. You won't be afraid because you are with me. I won't be afraid. I know you are there. You are there, right there with me. Number four, let's look at it. It says, the same way a person cannot win in court, if he or she, he, if his or her case does not have a backing of the Lord of the land, the prayer of a Christian will not attract answers until it is lined with God's word. A prayer of a Christian will not do us attract answer until it is in line with God's word. That is what we we'll gain from that place. The book of 1 John chapter 5 verse 14 to 15. 1 John 5 14 15 says, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that he has the petition. He has the capacity to bring it to pass. Daddy, how will they answer you? Do you know that this is our God? His master plan now. He said, Call and I will answer. Knock, the door will be open. Seek, you will find. So, definitely, if you don't ask, you are crying. You will be looking at you. Bele, <laughs> Bele, you will not answer. This our God is so powerful. So everything you know you need after you have given your life to him, ask him. Do you know something happened? It's of recent, last week, that I discovered that God, eh, I asked for this when Uriola was small. And what was the answer? What was the question? After I found out the color and everything, it, I gave back to him as he was growing. I checked some things about him and I was giving. I started praying, Father, please help his sight. Help him so that it will, it will be easy for him to see. Hmm. We first went to usage. When we got to usage, they did test on him like this. They put his eyes there. He said, he's supposed not to see anything. My son said, see, they opened the up. See the tap, water is coming out. Ah, the man said, are you sure that this boy, you are not the one who thinks the... Um, nah. I'm not the one. He said, the people like him supposed not to see what he's calling for. I said, oh, Rini, 
And he, I think then he was about six years. He said, ah, koye kori, muniri, kori keni, kori. The man said, this one, they wrote on his card, exceptional. <laughs> because he, he said, I should go and give one consultant. When I got to the, to the prayer, person, he started running. He went to, the, to this place. He, he, he carried his things. Ah, the man said, ah, they don't used to say, I say, me or more. The man said, see, we cannot help you. <laughs> Here in UCH, be going because we don't have his answer. Ah. I said, they say, you are the only one who can give us what you want. He said, Eva Binu, ah, and he answered, hello, Duro, to pay another year. When I noticed that from morning till afternoon, we will go to UCH, we will be online. After the whole line, you know, they will tell us that nothing, they can't see anything. <laughs> I told my husband, we are not going again. So we waited. He will clock 10 by August. So we now say, okay, it will soon be 10. Let's go and do it again. We got there. They did that. In fact, they gave us one glasses. I can remember then. If we put it on my son, he said, hey, mommy, daddy, I can't see you. <laughs> he will now remove the glass. He got to say, he was to break it something. He now gave us. I cannot see with it. <laughs> See, but they said he will need glasses. He said, me, I, I don't need glasses. Please, don't leave me alone. So when we now went this one, we bought two frames that I will make a la mache so that in case if you should break one. Since three days ago, <laughs> the man said he doesn't need it, but he will only give us because we asked for it. So we paid, though. Going to work again because they refer us to one consultant again. So on she be new UI. So when we got there, the man checked on him and said, "Okay." I said, "I bought about five of, I mean, three frame. Help me to fix." When he now said two of it, he so so. I said, "It's much." I said, "What she made you know?" My husband went there to go and collect. When we put it on my son, he said, "Ah." I said, I don't need glass. This thing is disturbing me. I said, "They said you would need." He said, "I don't need it. I would use my. I'm okay." We now called him and the man said, maybe we told you that he said, he, I said he doesn't need it. But I prayed it. You know, at the time when we tell our parents, I, I came with anointing oil. I gave my husband, help me to bless it. So every morning, I will anoint his head, his mouth, his two ears, and all his body. I did that for about, about three or four years. Apo can testify to it. I gave them, and every morning, I will be using that to be praying. You will see clearly. You will hear clearly. Everything about you will be alright. I never knew that the prayers. Share your long. Oh man, go. Pe, oh my down. I can't lie. You pe, on figure the wagon. I was an emergency person. Pa 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 pa. Olu amoni de ba. Yoju 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 yoju. One thing about flashing. Emma, go ni down. And that is the reason why it is important for you as a child of God to communicate with, to God with scriptural passage. I could remember I used it. And the boy Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, in favor with God. And with my, that is my quotation for him. According to the word of God, the Bible says Jesus grew. Jesus grew grew in stature. <laughs> Definitely. We should pray. Father, let him grow. Father, there is nothing you, you can't pray for. Look, lay hold on one scriptural passage and begin to use it to pray. And you will see it will come to pass. And the last and not the least says, and the Lord said, here, the number five, and the Lord said, hear what the unjust, unjust say, uh, judge said, and shall not God avenge him his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bears long with them, though, oh, where? but oh, madam, in the above verse, we will be looking at the last important truth that will help our prayer life. From these two verse, we are shown that God giving us permission to persistently come into his presence with our request. We, are pers we should be persistent. Keep praying. When we add fasting, giving and other things to our prayer life, imagine the persistence of great men like Jacob, Prophet Elijah, and all sorts. They came to God with fasting. The Bible says Elijah was like a man like us. He prayed that there should be no rain. And what happened? God answered. Jacob wrestled with God. I said, bless me. Bless me. Bless me. I don't want to come back in vain. 
did Jacob came back empty handed? No, now God answer. He should attend no more. King Jonah. Me, I don't like giving birth to baby. That will be small. From birth, go to Bini. So, from, when I experienced the first one, they say it's a mistake. Second one, when it's like that again, that one I did not eat very well. Me, at the end of the day, they still carry. So, the third one, I eat, oh, drink all the months. Drink everything that is drinkable. Because I went there to go and sign. Or just buy in the my mom. No need of stressing myself. <laughs> Me to bring my. So, if I've done it twice, I don't need to go through it again. But they more your phone and I started praying, Father, it shall be a glorious day. I will just sleep and wake up and see my baby beside me. Jehovah, thank you because the day is sanctified with your blood. Thank you. In fact, there was Shiloh that day. As you people were praying here, I was praying at home. Jehovah, today is the day. Let it be a glorious one. May they not make mistake. Let it be with ease. I never prayed that Father help me to push again. Me pray, pray, I am. Let me enjoy myself. Let them finish doing it that day. Let me stand up. And that was what God did for me. To those who are there with me. The same day. I stood up. Money around me, doctor. Can I eat? He said, "Hey, mommy, any? You just finished. It's not up to twelve." I said, yeah, "I'm hungry." He, I managed the second day because I was already hungry. He said, "Ruin your money. You are bad. I want money more. Pray for me." He said, "Throughout the operation, I was praying. I was speaking in tongues because I was conscious of Mugudo Jadembi, me Mugudo Balo. We were when Mugadimoti said to Balu Elua. Oh yeah, he said I was praying till they finish. Oh God, only choice than to be praying." Oh no, very sense speaking to Makataba, Maleke Debo, Yaga, even Teshu Bafer Halembego. Ori, fire to fire to ignite a Bakuwa Jokani. That is the power of prayers. You need a boy, ask him for it. You need a girl, ask God for it. Be the lower when you want to be Ushele. Mommy, I can testify. Iya, eh? Iya, Chizom, we gave. And God gave us what we want. Give towards it. Fast towards it. And pray. I see you not pray again. You need a good job. Tell him. You need to travel. Tell him. Do you think it's... You know I told you that time when we were talking about giving. If you give him a CD, he will return it. You must give me back. He will answer. But on one condition. One on one relationship. Amy, I see only relationship you are demanding. We don't have any relationship together. Just look at it in a natural sense. We have not been talking. Just walk down to me and say, Mama, money did 100,000. Money need to go. Mama, I need to go. Oh, 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 is the faithful father but one on one relationship do we have anyone in the house who have not yet given his or her life to Christ this is an opportunity for you to accept him as your Lord or to rededicate yourself to him you walk the way of salvation with us right from when we my, my, me personally when I was small he walked the way of, of you know of the, the, my journey with me and it has been like that. I want us to bow our heads. Is anyone in the house this morning? Close your eyes. That you've not given your life to him. Or your relationship with him has been having issues. You are off and on. The Bible says, He said, I will spit you out of my mouth. Because you are not neither cold nor hot. You are born again today. Tomorrow you are bastard. You are no more with me. I'm giving you this privilege. The Lord is giving you this privilege. Accept him again. Tell him you are sorry. Call unto him. The Bible says, call unto me and I will answer. Hey, Tell him, Father, I'm sorry. I accept you today as my Lord and personal Savior. Lord, our relationship have not been called here before, but this morning, thou this word that came to me, Lord, I accept you as my Lord. I rededicate myself to you, Lord. Please come into me. Come into my life once again. Let's have fellowship together as before. Jehovah, have mercy on me. Is there any way I've sinned against you? Is there any way I've done anything wrong that makes you to be far from me? That makes my prayers not to be answered? Oh Lord, I'm sorry. With your mercy, draw me closer this morning. Father, have mercy on me. 
Masakaraba Yerebo Shata. I want us to pray. Pray, Jehovah, have mercy on me. You want to rededicate yourself to Him? Please just begin to put your hand in your chest. You want to give your life to Him? Put your hand in your chest. Father, have mercy on me. I accept you this morning as my Lord and personal Savior. With you, I can go miles. With you, I can go far. Without you, I am nothing. Lord, please come into me. Yarebo Shatara Baba 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 Baba. And to those of us who have relationship with the Lord already, let's pray that God made our relationship be called there. Let's keep growing, growing. Let me keep growing in you. Let me keep growing in you in the name of Jesus. I promise to serve you more and more. I promise that our relationship with, with together will grow further and higher than this. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Almighty Father, I hand over our sisters and brothers that rededicated their life to you this morning. Father, please accept them. And to those who have just given their life to you, Father, accept them also in Jesus' name. Cancel their name from the book of hell. Write their name in the book of, of heaven. May they not perish, Lord. And to every one of us, who are, with, who are still with you. Help us that will not go back. Help us that will not fall short of your glory. Help us that will not keep sinning. Help us that will not go back. We will not fall by the wayside, Lord. Keep us moving. Keep us moving in the name of Jesus. That at the end, we will make your kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for we know you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Shall we put our hands together for the Lord this morning? Hallelujah. Praise God.